he was a bad choice to begin with, though. Mm -hmm. You know, when they brought him in from Boise State as a West Coast guy trying to go to the South, that didn't make a whole lot of sense. Can you imagine what what Deion Prime Sanders would do, what Prime would do with the facilities and with the outreach? Well, like I said, like I said to Paul, there's only there's only two names that would make sense to me: Lane Kiffin and Deion Sanders. Right? That's it. You and and the reason you go and you look at Lane is because he turned around uh, FAU, he turned around Ole Miss. He'll be in 10-plus wins at Ole Miss for the second straight year. He he knows the region. He coached at Tennessee, coached at Alabama. He can recruit. NIL money is there, so you know he can recruit and get it done. You know he's a good coach, right? He learned his lesson from being fired on the tarmac at USC, not getting it done. Then, if you, if you Auburn, Deion Sanders, he's going he's gonna to just drive. Uh, both of them going to drive Nick Saban crazy. Right down mm-hmm. the street, you know Lane can beat Nick with a good team. You know Dion can recruit with NIL money now too, and he can get the kids. He's right down the road in Jackson, Mississippi. Everybody wants to play for Prime. The question, though, are they going to be scared to hire a black head coach with a personality like Prime, okay, at Auburn? Then if Lane goes to Auburn, if I'm Ole Miss, I'm going to get Prime. I'm going to get him, yeah, and he's but, going to be my head coach. Yeah, but if you're prime, right? Like, what's the one thing I've been hearing Lane Kiffin talk a lot about in the public? Oh, well, you know, this school is always going to outbid you. You know, well, of this course. company's going to outbid you, right? So if you're prime, you're paying attention to all that, right? Because that's why I said you want to have, you know, incredible resources. And yeah, absolutely. In this, in this game, that's an arms race. You have to have deep bags behind you to go get recruits. No, Ar- Auburn has. Auburn has. Great resources for either one of them as a head coach. They got backing. They got money. But they also got Alabama right down the street with Nick Saban. Nick Saban doesn't want to see either one of those dudes at Auburn. Either one of them at all. Think about the- Dion. I'll say I bring it up every time his name comes up. He has a huge advantage. Forget about the personality for a second, right? And the track record now on the college level as a head coach and what he can yes. do for a program. There are only a handful of athletes ever who were at his level in any sport who then went on to coach. In fact, none actually come to mind. Tell me a guy who is as great as Dion was at football in any sport Nobody. who wound up being a coach. So, like, because usually at that level, the, if for whatever reason, the guys don't give back to the game, particularly guys as talented as Dion, because what's happened in the past in some sports here and there when they've tried it is they expect everyone to be like them, but nobody's like them. So what he has done is so remarkable. Like, it deserves mention. He's- oh, no, it, 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 it absolutely does. He should have got the Florida State job a couple years ago, but he didn't have a track record. Now he has a track record. There's no question about it. I just don't know if the, 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 the decision makers at Auburn – or ready for a Deion Sanders type. I just don't know if they are. You know, you know how you're in a different you're in a different type of situation when you're dealing in that part of the country on, on, on the recruiting trail. Well, uh, they need to wake all, up. All of that. They need to huh? wake up. They need to wake well, up. They should be. Of course. They should be. They should be in the game of getting that dunk. I'll tell you the, the other part about prime. Like, and I get Alabama, Nick Saban, and I get Ryan Day, Ohio State, Tennessee is a really hot thing right now with Hooker, right? But there is nobody who has a better pulse on the culture than Deion Sanders. And the media machine machine oh, yeah. behind him that oh, he's yeah. created now with that relationship with Barstool, if you were to activate that same machine inside Auburn, you talk about being relevant, uh, they, would be, they would be the most relevant program in the country. It, they would be a, a, a relevant program. The NILs are huge. And, and both he and Lane benefit from the NIL with the money, the portal. They go into that portal. You see Dion, he done went and changed the whole face of Jackson State. Lane done changed and went into the portal and grabbed a few. His Jackson Dart, the quarterback, came from USC. He done got that dude. He's got a couple players at, at Ole Miss that were probably wanting to transfer into Auburn. Prime got people over at, at his school at Jackson State, that would transfer wherever he winds up at Auburn. They got to get smart, man. You got to think. You got to think. I, I don't tell me nothing about Matt Rule. I respect Matt Rule. I think he's a good coach. 
But don't get to telling me Matt Rule this, Matt Rule. I'm talking about people that know that region, that know that landscape. If you want to get back to beating up on Alabama and trying to fight for a national championship every single year, you take a look at them two dudes right there. For sure. So, guys, Dion said recently he wouldn't coach in the NFL, but he would consider a Power Five school, right? Do you? But just because a guy says something, that doesn't make it true. Can could you see Dion as an NFL head coach? Key, I could. By the way, I, I could. I just don't think Prime Prime played in the leagues, right? Major League Baseball and the NFL. You doesn't want to deal with probably some of the stuff that goes on. And that you have to deal with the, the 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 great thing about college for him is he gets to pick his players. He doesn't have some dude with little glasses that ain't never played a day in his life trying to tell him who's good and who's not. He doesn't have to deal with that. In college, he eyeballs the guy and he goes, "I like that guy." Well, who says the same arrangement couldn't be made in the NFL? Yeah, that just puts a lot of pressure though. It's yeah, different in college, going, man. It, 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 it's not different. that it can't. But they just don't do it like that. Yeah. I mean, there's only a handful of dudes in the history of the league that wear both hats. Right. That's true. It's very, very difficult. You know, to college, do. In college, you run the whole show. Key, pick one. You're running Auburn. You, Keyshawn Johnson. Who are you picking, Lane Kiffin or Dion? I'm probably, I'm probably gonna wind up picking. I'm probably gonna wind up picking Lane. Why? Well, because. He coached against Nick Saban. I got to beat Nick Saban. That's a must. He he coached with him. He knows the SEC country. Okay? He gets it. He understands it. What but about I Saban's record against former assistants, Key? But I wouldn't rule out Dion. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.